Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a massive day on EAFC 24 today. Early access has arrived. A lot of us are on the full game for the very first time, especially if you pre-ordered the full game. And of course, we have the first promo of the year today, and that is these Nike cards right here. The Nike Mad Ready promo. EA actually told us a bit more about this promo yesterday. I'm going to break that down and talk about so much that is going on in this game. We've got marquee matchups that move the market. We have a lot of people opening FIFA point packs, which has made prices go crazy. And I want to talk to you guys about how you can best grind the game right now in terms of gameplay. And of course, with the market in this video today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, let's start with today. First of all, today is the start of the Nike Mad Ready promo, right? That's the big news. That's the big thing that's going on today. And thank goodness that we don't have to be on the web app anymore because the web app, it was really, it was tiresome, right? It was tough. It was hard to grind. And I'm glad for you guys that it is over. I'm glad that that is over. But if you did not know already, the companion app is updated and available. Um, it is on the phone now, so if you do want to go, it, oh, it can't authenticate because I'm in the game. But if you go to your app store on your phone, you can uh, download the companion app on your phone as well, which is so handy for managing your ultimate team on the go. I use it a ton uh, if you've never used that. But that is there. Let's talk about Mad Ready, right? Because as we're getting on this game today, EA or yesterday kind of told us about this campaign a little bit. Now, we know before from the pitch notes what they said it was going to be, but they gave us a lot of extra detail in here. They also confirmed all the players that are going to be in packs today. It's kind of crazy. First of all, Sam Kerr is going to be one of the um, Mad Ready cards in packs today. The first step is add Mad Ready players to your squad. Basically, this post from them explains the promo. There's going to be cards in packs, five of them. We will have to get them somehow, whether it's loans, which I think they're going to give us loans, and or off of the market. And then we're going to go, as it says here, second step, complete Mad Ready objectives. So, sounds like gameplay. I don't know if there's anything SBC related, but it really sounds like a gameplay related um, objective that we're going to have to go complete. Third step is earn rewards to get Mad Ready for the Ultimate Team season. And that was Chiesa right there in that part of the image. And here we have Enzo Fernandez, two players that were already leaked. So we're up to four players now, Sam Kerr, VVD, Enzo Fernandez, and Chiesa. They said redeem two players via objectives. Now, this one for me is a little confusing. I don't know if they're saying that there are going to be two of the um, Mad Ready players themselves in objectives, or if there's going to be two 85 plus players via objectives that we can claim as like one of the Mad Ready rewards. And let's be honest, if I'm playing for an 85 plus pack, and even if it's untradeable, that's a pack that I would try to grind for if I could get a Mad Ready card, especially if I could get one as a loan. Um, I mean, I think EA wants this promo to be kind of like something that's a, hey, thank you for pre-ordering. We want there to be perks um, for you for pre-ordering this game because, right, a lot of people still haven't gotten on the game because it's still early access technically. Um, so maybe that's what that is. That's to be determined. We're not entirely sure. And then at the very end here, they show Puteas, which this is a stacked promo team, guys. Again, Puteas, Sam Kerr, VBD, Enzo, and Chiesa. That's like pretty big name players. Uh, and then it says, add Mad Ready players to your squad and complete the Mad Ready objectives. This is kind of a summary. But once again, guys, this, the Mad Ready players, this is the card design. And for the cards that are going to be in game, so like for those five players that we just mentioned and for any other ones that may be in objectives or SPCs, it's going to have that exact same stat setup as the gold card. So Puteus is going to have 91 rated with the exact same stats on on her um, Mad Ready card, same thing with like Enzo and Chiesa. They're going to just have a cool card design with a dynamic image, but it's going to be the exact same stats as the gold card in game, which is going to be really interesting to see how they are priced and how the pack weight is. I hope the pack weight is very high because, again, if you think about it, EA would probably want us to get a hold of these cards to go complete the objectives and make us feel like it was worth it. Another reason that it was worth it to pre order the Ultimate Edition and get the early access and pay a little bit extra. But the promo concept in itself is not that amazing, right? It's like, oh, yay, I have to go buy players off the market that might be really expensive to then go play that with them in game and to get objectives. Like that part of it doesn't sound too bad, but it all depends on how accessible the Nike Mad Ready cards are. So that's the promo concept for today. Um, and 
yeah, there's a lot of unknowns still. Are there going to be other SBCs? Are there going to be other objectives? We're going to have to find out today. Now, the real hype is just being able to be on the game, right? Now, we're going to talk about how those cards are in it, impact the market here in just a second. But if we're going to talk about the market, guys, we got to back all the way up to yesterday because there is so much that has gone on on this game in the last 24 hours that we have to catch up on, right? The market moved. We had our first SBC of the year with marquee matchups, which I would highly recommend doing, by the way, because if I actually take a look at the price of the SBC on Footbin, it's only 19K to do marquee matchups, guys, and you get a premium gold players pack, a small rare gold players pack inside of it, all tradable. It's actually a really good marquee matchup set. It's not that difficult to do. Even if you're just starting your ultimate team, like just put this one on your mind. It's like maybe something you do in, in a two day, three day period from now. Don't have to do it right away if you don't have a lot of fodder, but it's just a place to get tradable packs, which is especially important at this early stage of the game. Now, even before that happened yesterday, we had the first set of players getting onto the game, the New Zealanders, right? You would say, uh, getting onto the game yesterday, going out, starting to open FIFA points. And it really started a crazy amount of market impact, guys, because it's not like we knew. We knew that evolutions were exciting and a very, very hype new feature of the game, right? Take a look at Darwin Nunez. He went from 12,000 coins. People started getting on the game, opening FIFA points, getting coins. And a lot of these players that people want to evolve in evolutions absolutely exploded. Dan Juma, uh, I think was like six or 7,000 coins. What was he? 6K. And he went to all the way to 12,000 coins. Like a crazy rise in that early day, um, Thursday, because people were getting on the game for the first time and going and buying cards for evolutions. And a lot of the rest of the market, like cards actually dropped. Like Osaman, I think was 100K maybe. There was a couple cards that went up, but Osaman was like 94,000 coins. And a lot of cards just kind of fluctuated and then started to drop, especially as we got later into the day with that marquee matchup supply. Guys, you would like, Wait, that, those packs, Nate, like those just five packs, even though they're just decent, they're not amazing, that impacted the market that much? When the market is in this early stages and there's not that many people on, definitely. So prices dropped a lot yesterday, except on players like Darwin, on Sufati, and some of those evolution players that we just mentioned that a lot of people are doing for the founder's evolution, uh, especially on Sufati, because it is known that you can actually boost if you buy Ansu Fati, you can start him in the, I think it's the Welcome to Evolutions, which I've already done. You can do him in that one, and then I think you can put him in the Relentless Winger. It's one of the two, and you can make that Ansu Fati card look absolutely mental. A lot of people are doing that, and a lot of people are, are also uh, doing Evolutions for Darwin Nunez, which is part of why their prices are going up so much. Now, that's kind of what happened earlier on. And then, of course, as the day went on, we looked at the prices, and they dropped. Now, nothing of that nature yesterday with marquee matchups um, was in comparison to all of the absolute craziness that went down when people started getting on the full version of the game during the late night hours at like midnight UK time. Guys, the market absolutely went to the bin. Like, and Kunku was 80K, he went down to 50,000 coins. Um, I had bought, a Bon Mati. I still have this card, by the way. I bought a Bon Mati on stream for 175,000 coins. 170,000 coins yesterday. I bought the card like right here, thinking I could flip it for 220. Never got the flip. This card, she went all the way down to 95k. I was losing 80,000 coins at one point, and now look, all the way back up to where she was at 180k. Prices had a huge drop with the supply, which is why we mentioned it in last night's video. We were talking about it a bunch on the stream. If any of you guys had coins yesterday, um, even on like little meta low tier meta cards like people buying some of these sort of cards how much was bruno gimresh 8.9k i mean he was 6k yesterday chow many is another one that we were looking at he's 13,000 coins he was like 8k yesterday so card prices went down really low with supply and they've started going back up i bought a griezmann for what did i buy it for Fifty thousand coins i was even a little bit late to the party to get in on the griezmann card uh, but i picked one up for 50,000 coins, and I sold it for just under 70K. I think he's right around 70K right now still. Yeah, still right around 70K. Guys, this market right now is going to be a very interesting place today on in this game because I know a lot of you guys are logging in and wanting to buy cards for your teams, 
And I still think there's a great opportunity to do that. I wouldn't tell you that you have to be rushed. Okay, that's the main point that I want to make today. With all this market up and down, if you're getting on the game, opening some FIFA points, playing some games, trying to build up your coins through trading, I would not feel rushed to feel like I Nate, I have to go out and buy the players for my team pronto or they're going to just absolutely sky in price and I'm going to miss out, right? Now, we've got a lot more people still to come on the game. We've got a lot of FIFA points probably that are going to be opened today on the game as well. There are a lot of prices that are still going to go up further, honestly. Um, you know, some of these cards like Messi being 200k, that one to me is a more close to what I think his final price will be. But like in Kunku is only 90k like this card to me is probably going to settle somewhere around like a hundred thousand high like 160 170 maybe even 200,000 coins that just feels right for me for a card like that christian ronaldo is still 60k i think that is too cheap um i don't know I, as i look through a lot of the most popular players and i'm circling down the list here i think a lot of these cards are still in the grand scheme of things for where the market's going to go in the next week or two undervalued but i will say this remember the keep or sell video that we did a couple of days back cards like diaby well diaby is pretty meta but openda um javi simons correa the cards that are like 80 rated and below where's lacroix yeah you know this is a great example where is our friend maxence lacroix he is 3k that's it okay vandevin where's our friend vandevin right love him spurs spurs player 18k for a 78 rated Ship it out soon, man. This is probably near the peak for a card like him, especially with more packs coming today. Renato's 19,000 coins. How much is Nunamenj? I'm just like sorting through some cards in my head. 18K. A 78 rated Mickey Vandevin is the same price as Nunamenj. That, tell, that should tell you that he is a bit overpriced um, and he's not going to last there this price for sure. So be careful with those low tier cards. But as I say, some of these other players' names, if you can get 30, 40, 50K, even if you have like 25,000 coins and you're an Arsenal fan, like Odegaard is still 15,000 coins. That is a fantastic card for 15K. Chameni is still 11, 12K. Like there are still a lot of cards out there that have room to grow in price. They have room to run and they're going to go up in price. That's just, Kempembe is still 29,000 coins. Like that is, that is not bad. Like there are still plenty of cards out there, guys, that you can pick up. Uh, Cancelo <clears throat> is still... 25,000 coins? Are you serious? Like that sounds pretty cheap with a lot of really good Barca links, especially with the women's players being added in. So what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of options out there, but just make sure you're being careful with the cards that you buy. And also guys, look at informs and heroes. If you have those, enough coins for those, informs and heroes are absolutely fantastic to be trading with right now. And I think today with the mad ready players on the market, you know, a lot of people are going to be opening FIFA points all day today. Um, FC points, sorry. Uh, and then when the Mad Ready cards come into packs, I'm sure since it's a promo, I don't know if EA is going to have anything in the store, guys. Right now, uh, I have a card on my unassigned, which you know what? I might as well just quick sell it. I packed a duplicate John Stones. If there's an SBC that comes out, I'll try to get involved and, and put him into it and remember that I have him in my quick sell. Maybe I'll write myself a note. But one of the reasons why the market crashed so crazy um, earlier yesterday, like six hours ago, when... The EU and the UK got on the game for the first time is that EA dropped promo packs. These guys, man, dropping premium gold players packs in the store um, and pa pack probabilities, 7.5% of a walkout. That seems really high. Um, and I think that's just because there's so many more walkouts in the game this year now that I'm thinking about it. 7.5% of a walkout. I'm pretty sure in FIFA 23 for like a 25K pack, it would have been like 3% or 4%, but... Wow, that's kind of crazy. Seven and a half. That's wow. Okay. But that's a lot of the reason why the market crash for that short, like hour, two hour time was so bad and so crazy was because there were so much pack supply of people using their pre-order FIFA points on those packs. So I would be careful with the market um, on the low tier, but I would be pretty confident on the high tier and higher rated cards because people are just going to continue upgrading, putting cards in their squad and uh, and building onwards and upwards um, in, in those areas. So I think there's going to be great opportunities to buy cards for your team if you have enough coins. Also, if you're looking to purely trade slash invest, all right. Speaking of investing, right? We're talking about the gold cards. We have to talk about the team of the weeks. These guys fluctuate like crazy. I bought a, a Lewandowski uh, three hours ago for like 130,000 coins, the inform. And I sold him 
I kid you not, 20 minutes later for 177K. And now he's back down to 150,000 coins. Dybala, I've seen fluctuate a lot. Mkhitaryan, pretty sure Mkhitaryan was just 30,000 coins, right? Now, I'm not going to buy a Mkhitaryan right now unless it's a snipe. Uh, no, nah, he's ooh, 25K. If I saw 20, I would buy it. But um, just keep an eye on these informs, guys, because apart from a couple of them, I would be careful with Salah. Salah probably ends up being towards like seven, 800,000 coins after the market really inflates in value. I think Lewa is a 200K plus card in the next two weeks. Um, Hummels, I think, will end up being like 30K. Mkhitaryan seems like a 40, 50, 60K card to me, maybe, because he looks so good in game. Doku, I'm a little unsure about. He's got a high pack weight, but he could end up being 70, 80K. He just is, he's pace and dribble. So as we find out the meta of this game as well, and people start to figure out what works the best, that'll probably impact a lot of these prices too. But these cards are really rare. Trade with them, invest in them accordingly if you like any buys. I'm not a huge fan of Lamptey. I actually packed him yesterday. Um, I haven't used him. I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't like how good he is in game. I'm just saying... For the price that you get, yeah, you're getting a nice card that can play on the right and the left, but two-star skill moves, really, really low strength. I'm sure he's nice in game, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I just don't like that one as much of an investment, even though it is a Premier League. I think his usability is a little bit down compared to some of the other cards in this team of the week. So I like the team elite cards and I love heroes, guys. Man, if you can scrounge up the coins to snag yourself a hero, some of the prices on these cards are crazy. Like if I search at 300k. Um, there are some insane, the new, the new McManaman hero card you can get for 155,000 coins. Like Berbatov is how much? A hundred K. Like some of these cards are nuts. Risa, I saw under hundred K yesterday. Lisa Razu, was that Lisa Razu right there? How much for Lisa Razu? Um, 200 K. All right. Like that's, that's, that's a good amount of coins. I know a lot of you guys don't have that there, but like even for like Beasley with all the pace that he's got or, um, you know, Peter Crouch, I saw, like, I remember trading with Peter Crouch last year. He was really cheap. 40K, Cahill, right? It's a Prem striker. People want to use him. So I would say if you have some coins, definitely take a look at that area as well on this market and trading, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys are on low budgets and I want to take you through, you see my coin total right now. It is up a lot. I have not traded with too many cards over a thousand coins, guys. You take a look at my transfer list, what I've been listing up is gold. I've been SBC solution trading. Um, this Pedrosa, all of these I bought for 550 or 600 coins. Guys, I want to tell you how to find some really good players to trade with if you're on a low budget because these players fluctuate a ton. First of all, you're going to go over to Footbin and you're going to go on the players tab, FC 24 players. I clicked on non-rare. You go version, gold, non-rare, um, especially if you're on a really low budget, like less than a thousand coins. That means you can get some of these guys on like 300 bids. So you could buy like two or three, maybe you're going to click here and sort by price. I'm going to refresh the page. So it's accurate. And that's going to show you the most expensive non-rare to the cheapest non-rare in that order. You can see and Dombele, right? Um, Vincente Guaita, I was trading with him just a little bit ago. Uh, Flavian Tate was a card I was watching and trading with as well. Uh, Lung Lei was one you just saw on my transfer list. Maria, uh, she's 13, 1400 coins. It's just like some of these cards have really, really good fluctuations, guys. Look, you see a graph like this. We're going to do a full video on this here very soon because this takes a little bit to explain. But if you want to get on the market today and, and get some, some stuff done around content drop, when there's packs that are going to be open from the store, there's even a um, pack code for a jumbo ultimate pack. If EA goes all out and drops a jumbo ultimate pack in the store today, that would be absolutely wild um, and a super EA thing to do. But um, look for graphs like this. Click on a few of these cards and it's not like, okay, I have to wait for them to go to minimum price. But whenever you see like Ndombele here, he's 3,000 coins right now, man. Did he hit 3K yesterday a couple times? He hit 1K once. If you see him go back down to like six or 800 coins, buy some, man, because he is hitting in the solutions, right? These guys are going up in price because of the hybrid leagues, hybrid nations and league and nation hybrid SBCs that a lot of people are doing. And I can't lie, I uh, did the SBCs and I got really good pack pulls. That's where I got Lamptey from. I got new center backs, Gabriel and Stones. Not amazing pulls, but decent pulls um, in the SBCs that I did yesterday. And they give out really good packs. So I've got to do the League and Nation hybrid yet. But Hybrid Leagues and Nations, if you're getting on the game as well, is a really good set of SBCs to craft and grind. Just try to do it in a way that maybe you don't have to spend too many coins because they are untradeable packs. But um, a lot of people want to go to those because those are big time packs. You can get good cards for your team. And that's why they work with trading so 
good. Like seriously, so good. I bought like 30 or 40 um, of a, what is it? It's a Canadian right back. Alistair Johnson was his name. Um, honestly, never heard of the guy, but it's also SBC solution trading is a great way to learn a lot of names of players and where they play men's and women's alike. I bought like 30 Alistair Johnson's for 550 and I sold them all for 3k and look, look where he is back now. He's back down to 850 coins, right? So at another time, he might go from, you know, all the way up to 2,000 coins again, and boom, there's profit. So that's how this works. It seems crazy. We're going to do a full video on it soon, but that method of trading is alive and well for sure. Um, and if you don't want to do that, grind the game, guys. And if you're looking to grind the game this weekend, I think a lot of people are going to default to rivals, which is not bad. But I would really, really try to tell you guys to play squad battles. I know it's a bit annoying. Maybe as you're getting on the game for the first time, you hop into evolutions, uh, figure out an evolution that you want to complete, start grinding it, but then hop into squad battles, guys, because a lot of these you can do in squad battles. Um, you can see here, Werner is just win two, or this this isn't Werner, but the Werner example is win two and then win four. Um, yeah, do it in do it in squad battles, guys, because that is the next set of rewards that you can get. And if you kind of work your way up and grind your way into a solid um, reward setting, maybe you get gold, maybe you get, um, I don't know, maybe just even silver, you're going to get some tradable packs from that, I do believe you can check the rewards if you click on the R1 over to your rank. Let's say you get like gold three, which is a pretty common rank. You get a premium gold players pack, jumbo premium gold, and a premium gold pack, 5,000 coins. And yeah, the rewards are here pretty soon on Sunday. So definitely, definitely, definitely go into here and I would spend some time playing squad battles and doing that. You only have to play 32 matches as it shows right here behind my face cam. And I think it said that it's four minute halves. That was one of the big things they changed. I haven't actually timed it. I haven't played any squad battles, but they're supposed to be shorter games as well. So that is nice. But guys, I'm really interested for this mad ready promo today. I think players, um, you know, it's going to be big time players in packs. I'm just curious to see how expensive they are and how good the rewards are. That's a really big piece of the puzzle. And to finish off today's video, one quite quick little thing we have to show you is um, EA is already having some issues to compensate. Day two, day three of this game, already having compensation. They removed the Foundations 5 SBC due to issues identified with the formation. Anyone who submitted items to any of the SBCs will have their items returned. <laughs> First compensation of the year, which is so true. And then also, I got compensation yesterday um, from the SBCs that I turned in when I was on the game day one because the uh, advanced SBCs were tradable and EA told us that we were going to get compensation. So I, all the cards that I turned into that, I got back, <laughs> which helped me do the SBC again. So just crazy uh, that we're starting off already. Compensation 23 has kind of transferred into compensation 24 and the same vibes are still kind of continuing. But it's exciting to be on the game, man. So if you're on the game right now, enjoy it. Have a good weekend. We're going to have videos constantly popping out this weekend as well. We'll be streaming again today, looking at the new promo cards that they come out, watching the market a lot. And I got to form my team together a little bit as well. Um, and again, we'll be opening packs too. So the 80 times 10s that are in the... Um, the objectives, if you guys are getting on the full version of the game, we'll be opening some of those on stream today. I haven't even got to mine yet, but level five, that 80 times 10 pack is kind of nice and it's a little bit of good fodder. And now there's going to be promo cards in packs today that you could potentially pack. And that is always fun to have. So drop in the stream today. The link's down below in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys in a stream today. Peace.